if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 24, The Moon. Survival Difficulty, Class 1. Safe, Secure, Minimal Entity Count. Level 24 is the 25th level of the back rooms. It is known in the database as the study, but many people just call it the moon. Description. Level 24 takes the form of a plastic moon model attached to several other plastic planets, with an LED sun in the center, all of which is completely up to scale according to those who have entered this level. The moon, which is the only accessible planet, has an estimated surface area of 14.6 million square miles. Surprisingly, none of the planets have any gravitational pull to each other, but gravity still works the same when traversing the moon. You won't be able to moon jump, for example. The planets are all connected to each other with metal wires, and slowly spin around. The area surrounding the massive tabletop solar system, due to its size, is astronomically blurry and hard to see. However, it seems to be a massive dimly lit Victorian era study room. It is undetermined if wanderers who enter the level are shrunken down, or if the level itself is simply far larger in comparison to a normal human. While this should be impossible, it is actually possible to see level 24 from other levels that have a day slash night cycle or a moon. They describe the exact same shade of grey and blue that this moon has. Bases, outposts, and communities. BNTG Plastic Mine. Due to the moon being a solid ball of plastic, it is utilized by the BNTG as a nearly infinite source of plastic material. Around 20 miners come here once every two weeks to dig into the ground and haul massive containers of plastic back to their base in level 1 which is utilized to make simple weapons and make repairs. However, doing this is extremely dangerous. A 100 foot thick layer of paint covers the entirety of the moon's surface, and due to the amount of lead in it, mining through it to get to the plastic releases toxic fumes. A gas mask is required for this. Buford. Very rarely, a man will enter the study that level 24 resides in and sit down in a chair to read a book. He has been nicknamed Buford by miners working for the BNTG. He wears a tuxedo and is bald with a small amount of white hair. It is unclear if he is some kind of faceling or if his face is simply too blurry to make out a face. He is considered mostly harmless but sometimes he will walk over to the set of planets and fiddle with it or clean them with a towel. This is extremely dangerous for any wanderer in level 24, as they could be squashed or killed in earthquakes. Entrances and Exits Entrances The safest way to enter is through a painting of the moon found in level 57, but it can also be accessed through level 1. The BNTG has not revealed how this is possible. There is a much more dangerous way to enter, which is to noclip directly upwards to a moon seen in the sky on outdoor levels. While possible, this method is highly discouraged. Exits You can ask the miners to lead you out of the level, which will lead you back to level 1. 